Hey all you watch lovers, what's going on? My name's Van and welcome to the channel. I love it, you love it, it's Swiss made watches. However, some of them cost a lot of money and they're up there in the hundreds, the thousands, the tens of thousands, and even the hundreds of thousands. So I've been looking around and today I got one of the cheapest Swiss made watches on the market and that is a Frederic Constant Slimline. Now I know there's a lot of opinions about this brand. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people think it's dog shit. Hey, maybe it's the same. No, it's dog sh**. But today I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on the watch and the brand in today's unboxing and review. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so before we actually unbox the watch, let me tell you guys a little bit about it. You can get this watch for about... $200 on eBay open box like I did, or you can get it brand new on Amazon for around $250, $260. So here's the box that comes in. Very nice packaging. Honestly, I'm really impressed with it. It kind of reminds me of the boxes that Rolexes come in. They have the, the green style box where you flip it up and then you flip open the latch and then you take out the whole thing. As you can see, there's the little flap that comes down, and then there's the box that the watch is actually in. So over here, we have a little warranty card, and we also have a little leather style book that comes with another little thing that says service centers. There's only one in the United States, and I believe it's actually in Florida. And then there's the instructions and guarantee, and there's another little catalog of the other watches they have. On to the main attraction of today. There we go. So this comes with another little tag in case you plan on reselling it. Honestly, I might, I might keep it. I really like this watch. And I don't know if yours will come with two straps, but mine actually came with two straps plus the one it's on. So it came with three NATO straps in total. It originally came on this gray and orange one, but I didn't think it matched anything I would wear, so. The blue one actually looks uh, looks quite nice if you're planning on being casual or maybe going a little sporty. And then my favorite NATO strap is the one that comes on, the leather strap. And the inside of this box is actually leather and it has the Frederic Constant little slogan, live your passion, made in Geneva, Switzerland. So that's pretty cool. Before we get too in depth on the watch, let's talk about some of the dimensions. We have a case diameter of 37 millimeters, a case thickness of five millimeters, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. So that makes it really easy to change out straps for any other NATOs you might have laying around the house. 20 millimeter uh, lug width is usually a very versatile width. Now this watch says it's 30 meters waterproof, I believe. So I'm not going to be testing it in water today or any day for that matter, maybe just cleaning up the face every once in a while with a towel and water. It is powered by a quartz movement, so no automatic movement today in a five millimeter case. However, that would be something I'd like to see down the road from Frederic Constant is a slim line with an automatic movement. I think that would be very cool. Now with this watch, you're not really buying it for any major complications or anything like that. You're simply buying for the brand and the design and the effort they put into the dial on this watch. We do have a small seconds at the six o'clock position. Honestly, I love when watches have the small seconds on them. I think it looks really cool, better than just a regular uh, sweeping or ticking second hand. I think it just gives it an extra little bit of class. As you can see on the dial, on the outside of the indices, we have markings all the way around, and then we have another one for the seconds all the way around. And then we have the Roman numerals, and then we have the inner side, of the Roman numerals and it has kind of like a diagonal square type of pattern. I think that looks really cool. And then on the small seconds, we actually have a sort of a brushed circular type of texture. Underneath the 12 o'clock position, we have the Frederic Constant logo along with the little Geneva underneath it. And honestly, I like it how it says Geneva because it just, it makes me feel like I'm wearing a really expensive watch like Rolex, how it says Geneva underneath, and all the other ones like Patrick Philip and Audemars Piguet. And at the six o'clock position, 
We also have a little Swiss made print. Very nice. We have a standard crown pull out one time and then you can go ahead and set the date. And onto the minute and hour hand of this watch, you can see that it has the, what a lot of watch collectors say is the Breguet style hands where it goes out, slims down a little, has a circle near the end, and then it has the tips pointing towards the hour and the minutes. I think it looks really good. And if you can't exactly see the color on the dial of this watch that well, it's white, yeah, but it's kind of just a hint of metallic in there, a little bit of silver in the white. Honestly, I think it looks really good. It's a little reflective, not too reflective, and I like it a lot. Now there is versions of this watch, I believe they have a silver case and a rose gold colored case. However, I have the gold colored case today, and I do actually believe that the gold color is in fact gold plated and not just some kind of gold paint they painted on there. To the straps of this watch, honestly, I think it looks pretty good with all three of them except for the gray and orange one. Um, this is a leather NATO. I like how convenient it is, and actually, I wasn't sure if I'd like a leather NATO on a watch, but honestly, it fits in really good. It covers the lugs and the spring bars, and it looks... Pretty casual yet dressy at the same time. And here it is on the blue NATO strap. Very sporty and casual at the same time. I could honestly wear this anywhere. I would wear it to the gym. I would wear it to a business meeting. I would wear it just on a regular day at the park or something like that. Looks pretty good in my opinion. And here it is on the strap it actually came on. It looks all right, but personally, I'm not a fan. I can probably just use this NATO for some of the other watches I have and it would look a lot better. On to the case back of it. We have the nice Frederic Constant Geneva logo on the back. It also mentions that it has a sapphire crystal, which I didn't actually know this until now. I thought it was just Harlex or something, but I guess if you're paying $200 for a watch, I sure would hope it comes with a sapphire crystal. Also says 3 ATM, also known as 30 meters waterproof, and it also says all stainless steel, but I looked it up and I'm pretty sure that uh, the stainless steel is gold plated. And here's the watch on my six and a half inch wrist. It fits so comfortably, it has a little bit of weight to it, not too much. I barely even notice that it's there half the time, and sometimes I forget I'm wearing it. But it just fits on the wrist so snug with the 37 millimeter diameter case and the five millimeter thickness. And I really just love how versatile it can be worn with almost anything and any NATO strap and it'll still look great. And there is no loom on this watch, so I will not be giving a loom shot today. Honestly guys, there's not a whole lot to say about this watch, except I appreciate the fact that they put a lot of detail into the dial on this watch. And it's very slim, it's very fashionable, and it's one of the cheapest Swiss made watches you can get on the market today. Now the brand Frederic Constant is Fairly newer, I believe they came up with their, their brand in the 1980s or the 1990s, so it's not as old as, say, Rolex or Patek Philippe, but I really think this watch can hold value and I appreciate the brand. So if you are thinking about picking up one of these bad boys, I'll leave the link in the description below where you can go get one on Amazon, or you can look around on eBay and find one open box like I did for a lot cheaper. That's going to be it for this time, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.